Next up at UFC Austin, we have Clay Guida taking on Joaquim Silva. Clay Guida, 38 and 23 overall, but he is 2 and 3 in his last five. He is coming off that decision loss to Hafa Garcia. He's taking on a Joaquim Silva, 14 and 4 overall, 2 and 3 in his last five. He's coming off that loss to Armin Saruki. And this is a very interesting matchup. This is a somewhat fun fight because every single fight that Clay Guida is in is a fun fight. This dude is 42 years old. He's got 61 fights under his belt. And he's pretty much looked good in all of them, right? He's lost 23 times, but he's coming out there. He's pushing the pace. Tons of strikes, tons of takedowns. This guy's got cardio for days. He is old, but he can still outwork a lot of people, a lot of people. But he is coming off that striking loss to Hafa Garcia where he landed fewer than half the strikes and he did go 0 for 3 on takedowns. The sport is obviously passing Clay Guida by. I do hope, I've mentioned this multiple times, I don't, on one hand, I want him to retire because he's old and he's a legend and he's done just so much for us fans. Watching Clay Guida the last 15 years has been absolutely spectacular. On the other hand, I don't want this to be his retirement fight because he's probably going to get smoked here. Give him another old dude. Give him somebody else that is like older, aging out. This Clay Guida has some of the greatest fights you'll ever see in your entire life. Go back, watch him. It was early 2000s before a lot of you were watching. Clay Guida is the absolute man. I hope he tells us when he's retiring and he gets himself a Robbie Lawler send-off. He's taking on Joaquin Silva. This guy is a BJJ black belt, but he also has fantastic hands. He's explosive. He's always looking for a knockout. He's very, very capable on the ground, but doesn't even try to get it there. He wants to stand. He wants to strike. And we just watched that with Armin Saruki, the main event of this fight. He had that guy on ice skates for the first time we have ever seen, but didn't go his way. Ended up getting taken down, getting finished, all that stuff. But Joaquim Silva, dangerous striker, dangerous on the ground. He should win this fight. Clay Guida, it's going to say he's 41 when I flip the screen here, but he's 42. He'll be 42 like any week now. He's a little older. Even with his pace, his takedowns aren't going to be good enough. Even if they are good enough, Joaquim's jiu-jitsu. Like, Joaquim should absolutely win this fight. It should be pretty straightforward. But I love Clay, and I'm not going to bet against Clay. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Listen, this is going to be kind of half-biased and half-actual breakdown because, as you guys know, Lock of the Week is a big thing. For the channel, for me individually. The Lock of the Week started, and people don't know this, the very first ever Lock of the Week was Antonio Carlos Jr. He lost versus uh, Brad Tavares, went over to PFL, won the championship twice. I think he won $2 million in the PFL randomly. Antonio <laughs> Carlos Jr., the most random whatever, but he went to the PFL and won the championship at least once. That was the very first Lock of the Week loser. The very first Lock of the Week winner was the very next week. That was Clay Guida. So he is a special place in my heart because he was the very first ever Lock of the Week winner. Now, he's not the Lock of the Week this week. I will say that. But I am going <laughs> to pick up in this matchup because Joaquin Silva is a guy that if you were to walk into a gym and he's in that gym and you were to scan all the fighters in the gym and you saw that motherfucker standing in the background or whatever – you would pick him out and say, that's probably the best fighter in this gym. He looks the part. He acts the part, right? You look at this guy and you're like, holy shit. He looks like he's got power, got good grappling, and he does have those things. He does have power. He does have grappling. But this guy can also get chinned. This guy can also get taken down. This guy can also get tired. And guess what Clay Guida does best is wear people down. Clay Guida is a guy that, yeah, he can get submitted. He can. He's starting to get a little bit more chinny. But he really rarely gets put out like that. He can kind of yeah. out tough situations. He can kind of grind on people. And Joaquin Silva also can get chin. This isn't a guy that's like crazy, crazy durable. He can get knocked out. I think I think there's a situation here where Clay Guida can hurt this guy. Because Clay Guida is so good. <laughs> At blitzing in, getting in the pocket, and throwing big power in the pocket. And I think Joaquin Silva could come in, big favorite against an old guy, maybe take it for granted, and find himself in some big trouble in this fight. If he doesn't get Clay Guida out in the first round, I think he's fucked. 
I, I literally think he's fucked. Maybe he finds like a weird submission on a guillotine where Clay gets a little bit too aggressive and he finds something in the second or third round. But I don't. I think if he doesn't find the chin and get this old this old man out of here in the first round, I think Clay Guida does what he does, and that is turn on the pace, turn on the pressure, wear this guy down, find the takedowns, wear him down, and, and really kind of beat this kid up. So listen, I, I get it. Joaquin Silva looks the part. I think he's overrated. Not only in his striking, but also in his wrestling, his grappling. I think he can get worn down. And I'm going with the dog here. I'm going with the old Wiley vet. Clay Guida in the upset. Like I said, probably half bias pick. But I think there's some merit to it as well. Yeah, there's definitely merit because Clay Guida, even at 75%, has more cardio than most do at 100%. And like you said, Joaquin can slow down a bit. But Clay Guida didn't get his wrestling going in his last fight. I don't know if he's going to get it going in this fight. Well, uh, Rafa's a little bit different animal. Rafa's lost a striking match to a wrestler. Like, th he's starting to show his age. But I do agree. Fuck if he's gonna you. Be if he's going to beat somebody, it could potentially be Joaquin Silva. That's why I'm not I'm not betting against Clay Guida, especially not in a matchup like this. Now, if they gave him, like, some killer, it'd be a little different. But Joaquin is dangerous. He can make some things happen, but he's not necessarily that I, guy. I would say, I would say, I would go as far as if you were to put just, if you were to just take random people off the street and you were to just show them shirtless pictures of every single UFC fighter and you had them rank fighters on how good they think that they are based just solely on shirtless pictures, I think every single person off the street would put Joaquin Silva in the top five. That guy is fucking built, man. <laughs> that guy looks the absolute part when he is in there. He is a lightweight. He looks 185 pounds when he gets in the octagon. So I get the optics of it. Um, but, you know, I think he's a little bit overrated. No, listen, I hear you. I hear you. I don't necessarily disagree. And I think he's getting a, this line's definitely a little juiced. And I think he's getting the juice because he did drop. He didn't officially drop Armin, but he had Armin in a little bit of trouble. He was there. doing people the like, chicken dance. Whoa. People were like, whoa, uh oh. He was so doing he the chicken dance. Of, That's for sure. He got a lot of credit for that. Maybe a little too much credit. But Clay, at the end of the day, this is a young man sport. Clay is officially old. Officially old. So you got to go. You got to go young guy. 42 here. is kind of the new 28. Not in a cage. Not in a cage. You're going to spend the $7,100 in DraftKings? If anybody's worth it, it's probably him. I think if he I'm gets the wrestling do, uh, I, uh, I think I'd rather have Brundage at 69. That guy is good. That guy that is was, good. That was clever. The issue is people are going to be... <laughs> the issue is people aren't going to understand. They're going to be like, what the fuck? Well, I came back to it at the end. Anyway... Uh, I'm not going to spend the $9,100 because if we know anything, it's Clay Guida is tough. He is durable. He's durable from fists. He can be submitted. Claudio Puelas showed us that. He can be submitted, and Joaquim is a dangerous BJJ black belt, but he almost never uses it. I trust Clay to survive, probably get pieced up a little bit, maybe not have success wrestling or as much as he wants. Uh, I think Clay loses, Clay loses a decision here. So I'm not spending the $9,100 on Joaquin Silva. But if you want to unlock the bets, the safety parlay, and so much more, it's only $10 a month. Spliffmaker21 says, Angelo, you've been killing it with the safety parlay. And I have been. Thank you so much. That is a premium member only parlay that I put out every single week for every single card. We want picks.com. Click become a member at the top. It is only $10 a month and you'll unlock literally everything, including that safety parlay.